Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Steve Grillo. You're listening to Grillo's Aftershock XL. Once again, uh, this city tends to be such a small world, and I, I'm walking through the East Village down in Alphabet City, and um, I bumped into a very famous old friend from the Howard Stern Show. Everybody was wondering, it's Siobhan, everybody. Hello there. <laughs> Siobhan, say hello to all the people out there. How you doing? What's what's been going on? How are you? How's your family? What's what what's up? Oh, same old, same old. Less cats. A Less lot, cats. Yeah, a lot of them aged out, died finally. Uh, very sad. The last one that died, but I'm down to fourteen. Holy so crap! That's what gets me up in the morning, keeps me busy, gets the arthritis moving. There you go. I now. Uh, you're famous. What you 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 were one of the original squatters down here in uh, the East Village. Yeah, and that's you right. still and uh, you squatted and you what you guys took over an abandoned building. Yeah, we did that, and uh, we lived for like 17 years without heat, and uh, I think it was like five years without water hookup. We had to run to the fire hydrant and stuff, but we rebuilt it on our own with our own money and our own sweat and blood and my back. I threw my whole spine into that deal, and. Uh, Eventually, we went, got it legal. It's now it's a HDFC cooperative. That's that's pretty amazing. And, and it's right around here. Yes, yeah, right around the corner. Well, so now everybody knows you because you were actually a pioneer. You like you were the one of the first people that really came on Howard that had a you had a sex change operation, correct? Well, yeah. Well, I didn't get that till much later. When I first went on, I was just like fresh, fresh off the. Uh, the uh, turnip truck, you could say, in the city here. You know, I returned to the city of my birth. I started out in Brooklyn, and the first radio show I happened to accidentally tune in was Howard's show. And this is when he was only one station. It was K Rock, I believe. Yeah. And uh, it was only, only one market. It was New York City. But it, oh my God, it was so hilarious. I never heard anything like it in my life. And this is like '86. Okay. Yeah. And so, like, one day they ran out of dial a dates for some reason. They couldn't find anybody to go on dial a date, which was one of the funniest bits they did. So I just wrote a letter right there and told them what was going on with me. Ran down to Coney, got one of those photo booth uh, pictures done of me, a little four of them on a strip. And mailed it in, and the next thing I know, they're calling me up to come in and talk, and it just went on from there. So, I, I, you were like one of the first people to really come out and be bold and be proud. That's right. And yeah. and, and now, how do you feel? It's like it's come so it's such leaps and bounds from what what your struggle is to now, and and I think that you know you you pioneered something like that. You were brave. And you, you, you didn't, you weren't in the closet. You kind of just, you were proud to be out and, and, and deal with your gender issues. And, yeah. and you were the, like, and Howard embraced that with you. Now, when you see all the work that you put in and how far it's come, you must be kind of proud and, and happy to see what's going on. When I see how many kids didn't have to go through what I went through growing up, I'm just really, really makes me feel good inside. You, you should know? because you know what you were, you're out there. You were one of the first ones to, to, to stand up and say, "This is who I am. I don't yeah. give a flying fuck what you think." I kicked the door right off that fucking closet. Yeah, you and did. I did, it, I did it in front of the nation, and I think that helped so many people in the long run. And I'm just so glad to see see kids like flourishing now today. Yeah, because they are. Because it's it's just. The door is open, and mm -hmm. you are free to be who you want, what you are, who you uh, identify with. Yeah. And um, and I think these kids are owe you a big thank you. And I, I identify with me as a guy, but I will say thank you for them. How's that? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. But we still got we got to keep fighting. You know, look at what's happening now. They're trying to push us all back. But. No, they're not. But well, well, that's another story. Yeah, your door is open, you're out, you can't go yeah, back in. Yeah, mine's off, totally. Yeah. And I say to that to everybody, don't, uh, especially if you're young and, and you're just realizing this stuff, you've got plenty of support, you know. If you don't have it in your hometown, 
come to New York, come to a city where you're appreciated and where you can be taken care of. Oh, I, I got to get one of those tripods. So, um, do you see what's going on with Howard these days? Have you have you? No, unfortunately not. I can't afford any of the uh, computer hookups or stuff like that. Okay. I'm on a very very tight budget. Well, you got 14 cats to feed for Christ's sake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's about where everything goes. And I, since I lost all my cat sitting jobs because of this uh, virus, that's like, you know, kind of put a real crunch on me. But I'm still here. Like I say, I'm still here. Yeah, you know? all right. Well, you know what? I think everybody's going to be very happy that uh, you, you, you're updated, that you're doing well, and you're still here in the East Village taking care of your cats. And um, I, I'm going to, we'll, we'll exchange numbers. I'll have you come back on my show. All and right. we'll, 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 we'll do something. Sounds I'll meet great. you down here and we'll, we'll, we'll do a little something down here because I'm sure there's going to be a bunch of fans that are going to be curious. Maybe they can ask some questions and you can answer the questions for them. No problem. All right, Siobhan. Thank you so much. You're listening to Grillo's Aftershock XL on the Aftershock XL Network. Peace out. Say goodbye, Siobhan. See you all later. <laughs>